In a world where video games play you. Good morning, YouTube! My name is Big D, and today I'm going to give you a brief tour of a project that a team and I have been working on for the past year. Now, just to forewarn you, what you're about to see is pretty much not a whole lot. It's just me roaming around, killing stuff with my gun, uh, like you just saw. But uh, what I will tell you is just a little bit about the game and how when we get around to releasing it, it will blow your mind. In fact, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to put Alpha on this video because pretty much everything you're seeing here is a work in progress. It's sort of like pre, 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 <sighs> alpha, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> See, this game uses a revolutionary method of development. Uh, for you tech-minded people out there, you may have heard of something called agile development, where you perform weekly development cycles and come away with a working product. Well, you know, that's so 2005. Uh, in this project, we use a brand new method. It's pretty much just like agile development where you iterate quickly through your project, except instead of switching when you complete something, you just switch when you get bored. Boom. So I'm trademarking this new methodology and I'm calling it Active Design Hyper Development, or for short, ADHD. Did you get that one? This game pretty much takes all the aspects of the games we've enjoyed and combines them together into one harmonious pile of harmony. Harmony. The best way I can explain it is if you took all the good parts of games like Rust and natural selection and minecraft and cement and stitch them together to make a giant zombie baby this game might be getting close to what that would look like um the objective of this game pretty much boils down to this uh you are an ant and you're out to make the biggest baddest colony of the land uh, you explore, you team up with other ants to form a colony, and you pretty much duke it out over the territory to establish dominance. There's crafting, there's digging, there's flying, and there's a pretty good balance of cooperation and competitiveness. Uh, which colony will reign supreme? You decide, America. Now, we're aiming for this to be a multiplayer experience first, uh, but there are goals to make this work well locally. We've sort of made this decision because we found it easier from a game architecture standpoint to design the game that accounts for networking and work backwards um, rather than the other way around. It just makes it a, a lot smoother development experience. So one thing that you're not going to notice in this video we're showing today but has been a big aspect of it is vr or virtual reality in layman's terms uh, this is something that we experienced very early in the game development and has been a really big part in making the game into what it is right now um, you notice as you're walking around right now you have this weapon attached to your right hand, you have some invisible crosshair in the middle of the screen, and you're pretty much just going around and headshotting noobs like you would in any other first person shooter type game. But our goal with VR is to make it more than just an option. Uh, it's actually the way we prefer you to play the game. Everything from the heads up display to the player's movement to how you interact and socialize with other players and objects in the world all change when you take into account VR. Now obviously not everyone's going to have an Oculus Rift when it first comes out and frankly VR games over YouTube don't typically show up that well so 
What we're sharing with you today is the typical FPS style. That's about all the time I have for this video. Uh, I didn't really show you guys much of the gameplay or the other technologies. This was merely just a sneak peek of what we're working on. If this game is your cup of tea, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, tell your sister, tell your mother, tell your father, tell your brother. You know, I'll take a couple questions or two maybe at the next video if, uh, if they're interesting. And thanks a lot for your time. Talk to you later. Big D out.